je m'appelle Soji Apampa. I'm one of the founders of the Convention on Business Integrity in Nigeria. And we've been founded since the year 1995, working in the area of corruption prevention in Nigeria, particularly within the private sector. So the year 2020, we started to stumble upon publications by a certain group called Maritime Africa. And we thought, hmm, this is interesting. A media organization focused just on maritime issues. This is interesting. So we started following. After a while, started retweeting, uh, started liking what they're doing. And then finally, we thought we have to reach out to this group. And we met Pascaline, we met uh, Carlos online. We, we had a discussion online initially. And it was because of that specialization on things maritime. But then after a while, we saw that the company not only is following maritime issues, but is actually on the live issues. As it is happening around Africa, they are sometimes first with the news. And we're seeing that kind of presence in the maritime sector was also interesting for us. And we thought, okay, if not for anything, we need them as media partners. And as time went on, we saw that they have even more capability beyond media and more promise because they could also be involved in consulting, could be involved in training, could be involved also in advocacy and also opening doors with key stakeholders in the maritime sector. And we said, uh-uh, no. We have to go out there, meet these people face to face, uh, sort of like feel their pulse, and then say, okay, can we be partners? That's why we have come to Dakar. If they had been in Benin, we'd have gone to Benin. If they had been in France, we'd have gone to France to meet with them. But it happens they're in Dakar, and we've come to Dakar to meet with them. And what have we done over the two days that we've been here? Number one was to look them in the eye and say, what exactly are you trying to achieve? What's your vision? What's driving you? And to try and understand where there is a meeting of values that there is so we can walk the road together. And having established that, let's see mutual value. How do we add value to you? How do you add value to us? Once that was understood, we signed a memorandum of understanding to make sure that, okay, here we are, we're ready to work together. And then we started after that to work on a specific event coming up. And I won't tell you where it is. You have to find out a bit later. You have to know very soon, but it will be in West Africa and it would be about the maritime sector and about a very big issue regarding Africa's growth and survival. Let's leave it that way and you will learn more about it in due course. It's a pleasure to be here in Dakar, Senegal, um, for this meeting with Maritime Africa. My impression of the Maritime Africa team is they are insightful. Um, they are experts and leaders for the entire African continent when it comes to um, the maritime sector and industry. Um, I'm very impressed with the scale of their um, knowledge, especially given the size of the team. I'm sure that they will grow um, even more to become even stronger industry experts. It's a pleasure to partner with them, um, and um, as well as their media team and their communications team as well. I love that um, duality of um, industry experts and also being able to present it and share it with others.